Hey guys, it's Ryan. Oh man, it has been so long since we have seen you. I feel like it's been five months since we've been together on a Wednesday night. Uh, but I'm so excited to be able to get back to seeing you guys. Uh, in the next couple weeks, we're going to share some videos uh, that have some really short Bible lessons that we want to just share with you. And we hope that you as a family will get together and talk about these things. And so we want you to watch this short video. I think it's a perfect story for getting ready to go back to school. Maybe some of you are worried about your new classes, your new teachers. Maybe you're worried about uh, what all of this is going to look like in the middle of Corona uh, virus and, and all that's going on. Um, but watch this video and then we'll talk afterwards. Hey kids, have you ever seen a really big storm? Maybe there was bright lightning, loud thunder, and lots of rain. Did it scare you? In this lesson, we're going to take a look at what happened to Jesus and his disciples when they got caught in a big storm. Jesus and his disciples were caught in a big storm on a lake. They were all sailing across the sea on a boat when suddenly a big storm hit. There was big waves everywhere and it was getting really dangerous. The disciples were getting really scared and had no idea what to do. The disciples were so afraid that they woke up Jesus. Wait a second, Jesus was sleeping during this huge storm? The huge scary storm that was tossing the boat all over? And he was just sleeping through it? He must have been really tired, or must have been really, really relaxed. And you know who wasn't relaxed at all? The disciples. They thought they were about to die, so they woke up Jesus and asked him to help them. Jesus spoke to the wind and waves, and the storm stopped. All Jesus had to do was to tell the wind and waves to be still. And they listened. How crazy is that? Jesus can stop a storm by just speaking. After he calmed the storms, the disciples realized that he wasn't just a normal guy. They recognized he was God, and they knew he was worth following. And kids, we can learn a pretty cool lesson from this. Jesus has the power to calm any storm at any time. And that's what the disciples realized. They saw that Jesus was more powerful than anything. And this story helped them to have even more faith. Memory verse. Then he asked them, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? So kids, next time you get caught in a big storm and you want to run and scream and panic, remember this story. Whether it's lightning or thunder or hard times, Jesus will calm you through the storm. That is one of my favorite stories in all of the Bible. Yes, there is a rooster behind me somewhere at the house. So don't pay any attention to the uh, rooster crowing, but I want you to think about that story. Uh, why do you think the disciples were so afraid? And if there's somebody there watching this video, you guys answer that for a minute. I'll wait right here. And how do you think Jesus uh, showed his power to his disciples? Crazy rooster. So what I'd love for you guys to do is, as a family, read Psalm 121. In those verses, there are ways that we can trust God that talk about his power and how he protects us in times of trouble. And I want you guys to take some time as a family to read through that and discuss what that means. Uh, if you want to talk some more about this video and what you learned, uh, there are some discussion questions that we're going to throw right there in the comments. Uh, read those, talk about them. Um, and one other way, we'd love to interact with you guys. Maybe you'll memorize Mark 440. Uh, and maybe you parents will shoot a quick video of you reciting that uh, and then share that on, on this page or you can share that with me you can text it to me we'd love to interact we just want to hear from you or maybe you want to draw a picture of Jesus in the storm or maybe a time where you were caught in a storm that that maybe kind of scared you but either way we would love to interact with you guys we hope that this will be a time these next few Wednesdays of interacting getting back to meeting and talking and and just uh, thinking about God's word. But listen, 
We love you guys. We're so thankful that we have a God that knows all about us, that can calm our fears in the middle of a storm. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come back next week and we'll have another one for you. Love you guys. Talk to you guys later.